So today we're going to take on Paradise Pier. Uh, this is a, another two-year uh, objective. So we have essentially this area out here on the water, and we don't own it all. So we'll take a look here just to get an idea. It's kind of hard to see it exactly where. I mean, we don't really own the land. We all have the, the rights, uh, So, which obviously for water doesn't really make much of a difference. So you can kind of see there's a line right here where it gets a little bit darker. Uh, if you go, it doesn't show that on the map. But essentially, we've got to this first, what it looks like, this first ridge down here is where our property stops. Uh, so we have 600 get. well, we need to get 600 guests in the park at the end of year two, which is should be pretty simple. The only thing here was obviously not a lot of land, so I'll have to be a little creative. Um, by 600 guests, it should be pretty straightforward. So let's take a quick look at what we've got to start with. So a couple gentle rides. I uh, don't really need any transport rides for this, so right away, just so I don't forget, I'm going to turn that off uh, as far as our research funding goes. Um, we've got a couple roller coasters to start with. Um, those won't take up a lot of land. One, uh, we've got the twist, uh, just the boats, and a, a couple stalls. So the first thing we need really is the information kiosk too, so hopefully that'll be one of the first items we get. So I'm going to go ahead and just research shop and stalls until we get that because that's a that's an important one even though we don't have a lot of land as far as getting the park maps and everything but the umbrellas is helpful one I, I just don't like to have go too far without it so um, I think to kind of get things started here uh, going to probably build out so I'm going to just for my own reference so I can kind of keep track of what land we can build on I'm probably going to go ahead and build out and have the the walkway be the perimeter of my park um, and then that have a little bit more useful space in the middle versus trying to squeeze stuff around on the outside. So I'm going to go and do that really quick and uh, we'll go ahead and get um, get that started and we'll check back in soon. All right, we're back now. It is now May year one, so about two months gone by. And so I went ahead and made a couple modifications and the first is, as I mentioned, is a basically rebuilt the path so this is now the outside perimeter of where I'm allowed to build. I went ahead and deleted the portion over here it actually came out to like in this area here just because uh, I just want to keep the guests in a confined area um, just not wandering around too much so eventually I'll build out here once I get um, you know once I need to. So I went ahead and did, and did that then I built the uh, merry-go-round here in the front of the park uh, the first thing you see and then I uh, did the twist over here in the corner, and then the Ferris wheel. And right at that is when the information kiosk unlocked. Um, so I went ahead and changed my uh, research back to you know basically just gentle roller coasters and thrill rides with shops and stalls. I don't really care for too many water rides, um, and didn't need any transport rides since it is a small park. Uh, so once that was established here, I had about $5,000 left over. It was a little expensive to build out to redo the path because each one of these I think was about $32 or $36. Uh, and I only got $10 back for each one I deleted. So it's, you know, not the, may not be the best investment, but I, it helps me just with my planning. And um, it, I feel like I could use the middle space a little more efficiently than that kind of sliver that was around the outside just my personal preference uh, and then I went ahead and with that raining money I had a bit I went ahead and built the first little roller coaster here a junior coaster a little shrimp and uh, so it's, a, it's pretty small but actually has pretty good ratings I'm surprised that the excitement rating was the highest one usually that's it can be around a medium especially for something this small uh, but I had you know I was able to do some helixes in there and um, go underneath the boardwalk here and I feel like that's would be somewhat realistic to do that in a way um, so you know you, this would not be you know, we'd have a little more structure here but whatever so it seemed a little realistic so I went ahead and did that um, and the guests seemed to enjoy it and I've got a charging right now 750 probably could do a little bit more um, but I think it will be okay I'm, I'll go up to eight dollars hopefully no one's upset about that uh, and then went ahead and just hired the first uh, handyman. We got three and one I just set to kind of be near the exit here since junior coasters sometimes tend to make people a little more sick than what I would expect. 
and then right now I just have one mechanic I might get two soon and I usually especially for these especially since it's coming to the station a little fast uh, inspection every 10 minutes just in case there was a brake failure but I don't think it would happen we only got two years on this one uh, just didn't want to have any issues there I didn't really have room to do a brake run um, and then I'm just starting to do my little food court over here uh, if you've watched some of my other videos I prefer to kind of create a little bump out wherever I put my food and drink mainly because I always like to put benches and when you get a lot of people uh, usually probably, probably in about like 20 minutes or so uh, people start to get hungry and thirsty and this is going to get full and I just want to try to keep that off the main paths otherwise it seems to look and uh, it is very crowded uh, so I just try not to do that too often so I usually do these bump outs um, and then I kind of put all my food and drinks in one area and so eventually I'll probably do one more over here but since it's a small park I don't really need to worry about having too many of them so that's uh, where we are right now um, I'm about to, my researchers are hard at work about to get me the uh, steel roller coaster. Oh no, I just got the looping roller coaster. So I'll be getting something soon uh, in about two weeks. So uh, I don't have the money right now to do a looping coaster, but I might take out a loan. I had to take out 11,000, uh, I had to take out 1,000 earlier just to finish the path that went over here. Um, but I can see in this. Uh, scenario you can take up an additional 10,000 so I might take some more out and do a looping coaster because that, that you could charge a good amount of money and uh, it helps bring in a good amount of cash so I think I'll probably go ahead and do that next since I don't really have any other thrill rides to build I did get this spiral slide I'll probably throw one of those in there it doesn't really do much as far as creating revenue um, and the, the queue is small so it doesn't really you know, hold gas, but it's it's fun, it's fun. And then, so I'll probably do my looping coaster, and hopefully I'll have some more thrill rides to research, uh, researching after that, just so we can fill in some of the empty space. All right, so that's uh, where we are right now for Paradise Pier, um, and we had right now 282 guests, which a third of the way, or more than a th almost halfway, uh, to our target so obviously they'll be going home we'll be getting more but you can see that uh, as long as you just keep building um, and probably need to do a little bit of advertisement next year uh, it should be pretty easy to maintain a 600 guests so at this time it's just trying to be efficient so you could uh, maximize the amount of space you can use to build and if you have to replace stuff then you know maybe next year then that'll be fine so we'll go ahead and check in uh, in here in a couple months and uh, see where we are. It is almost the end of August year one and there have been, as you can see, a couple changes. So the first thing, as, uh, as I've mentioned, is the uh, steel roller coaster, the looping roller coaster. Went ahead and put that in. So this is just basically um, a launch coaster. Um, I used the, the um, launch track instead of launching from the station so I can get two vehicle, two trains on the um, coaster which will help with the revenue and then throughput and uh, so it's got some pretty decent pretty decent stats here um, high for the excitement rating uh, intensity is medium and nausea is low which is good so hopefully we won't get too many sick people uh, been able to charge about ten dollars for this one uh, you can see like, the income is way up which I don't think that will last for too long but it'll be nice to help bring some revenue I did have to I was up at seventeen thousand. I just paid off two thousand. I'll do one more here, so you can see it's it's already bringing in the money, which has been nice, uh, and it hasn't taken away too much from the little junior coaster over here. Uh, then I also added the sky or the uh, the tower here, which came in based on my researches. Got that a couple weeks ago, so I went ahead and put that in the observation tower. So that's uh, where we are now. So you can see it's starting to get a little crowded, um, almost at 500 guests, uh, only 150 left to go to meet our goal, um, but definitely getting a little crowded. So I'm going to probably start to expand out this way a little bit more. I might go ahead and just build the path all the way around if I can with the money I have, um, and then we'll kind of start building some more. So I don't have to rush too much here 
at this point, which uh, will be nice. So I'll be taking my time. Um, went ahead and filled out this, the food court here. I think last time there was just one spot open, so I put the Fruity Ices stall in there. And um, checking out what's going on over here. But everything, uh oh, that's not good. Control fail. Okay, good. Got fixing the ride there. Wonderful. I'll probably go ahead and get one more mechanic since uh, I've got some, got two coasters. Let's go ahead and change that inspection down to 10 minutes, which I forgot to do. Glad everything's going well with the merry go round. All right, so uh, that's uh, where we are. Everything seems to be going great. So we'll check back in here probably, uh, probably at the beginning of the new year. So hope all goes well and uh, talk to you soon. Well, Happy New Year. It is now March year two, mid-March, uh, and there have been a couple updates here. So as I mentioned, I went ahead and built out the rest of my walkway. So again, that's the perimeter of the buildable area of the park uh, right along that first ledge. And then I went ahead and just did one more food court here in the corner. Um, I only have a couple options for the food. I have really unlocked many other ones, so it's built the same ones. And if I unlock any more, I'll probably replace some of these. Uh, which is, it seems like a pretty lame food options, but no one's really seemed to complain. I haven't cost, I haven't got the worst theme park food award yet, so that's okay. And then I unlocked the uh, pirate ship, and that was the last thing I did. So I went ahead and put that in here in the corner, and I believe let's see, I'm trying to think last time what else was there, and then the dodgems uh, right here. I actually had a nice fit in a perfect little spot here in the corner. Uh, or in between the coaster here in the track. So I went ahead and put that in there. I uh, just unlocked the motion simulator, so I'll probably build the two of those since there's two films. Um, and that'll help get uh, you know, some people off the paths and into those queues, even though they don't have the biggest capacity. Good news is um, all I got to do, do now is just maintain the uh, attendance I have, which well, obviously I think a lot of people will be leaving soon because the main thought I have is they're running out of cash. Uh, there's no ATMs, I don't believe, on this level, and I shouldn't be unlocking it. So uh, most likely some people will be leaving, but there's a good amount of people coming in. I haven't had to use any advertisement yet, which is great, uh, and money is coming in, so I've been able to still pay down the loan. Even don't really need to, but uh, why not? Good uh, financial success there. It's responsible. And the looping coaster is still popular here. Uh, I went ahead and lowered the price by a dollar. Um, I don't know why. I just felt like it. Uh, but it's still generating a good amount of, of money here. So let me hide the paths and just kind of see what's going on. Things seems to be going okay. Some sick people over here. I had to hire a good amount of uh, handy men here. Some Let's see, I've got eight. That seems plenty right now. I could afford more if I need to, but should be fine. I've got four mechanics. I haven't had too many issues with rides being fixed, uh, not, not being fixed sometime. I'd like to see what else the guests are thinking right now. There we go. Uh, I feel sick. I'm hungry. I'm not hungry. Great, great. It's too crowded here. Spend all my money. Yeah, nothing too big. Um, I got one bathroom complaint. They're probably because they're eating right now. I've got five restrooms. So yeah, that's where we are. So I think I went ahead for my research. Just did shops and stalls and roller coasters. I'm hoping to get one or two more better variety of coasters before I build the next one. I don't really have too many. I don't really want a suspended swinging coaster. Um, mini rail coaster are not my favorite just because they they don't go, you know, they, it's like almost all downhill. You can't really go uphill too many times, but they also don't really have the best capacity. Um, and I'm not a big fan of the wooden wild mouse uh, just because they, one, they don't have brake runs and it's just, uh, they're not as fun for me to, to design. So, I'll see what the next coaster is, uh, and maybe I'll build that. In the meantime, I'll probably go ahead and put add some motion simulators here, and just probably just pass 
uh, press fast forward here for a little bit to kind of see what else I can research. So we'll check back in probably later this summer and uh, see what I've been able to do. All right, welcome back. It is now August year two, uh, 7th of August right now. And again, haven't expanded too far. Again, there's really no place to expand to. So progress has been a little slow, which is fine. And we're doing very well with our guests or with our attendants. Haven't had to do any advertising yet. This is just purely on opening up new attractions. Uh, so we're, we just passed uh, 800, uh, which is great. Uh, and even, I think, some of the people who are running out of cash, 67, there's probably a couple other in here, people who want to go home. Even if all those people leave right now, we'll be just fine. Um, there's probably still a good amount of people coming in. So not too worried. I think we'll be just fine. You can even see it. the park looks crowded enough. I really wouldn't want too many more people in here. Uh, people start to complain, especially some in the more popular areas. So since we uh, last talked earlier in the year, I made a couple... I added a couple items here. I was waiting to see if I got any new roller coasters I'd enjoy building, but I only got stand-up coaster, not the stand-up twister, just the good old stand-up, which uh, is not really my favorite. And then I just unlocked the corkscrew coaster. So I decided to go ahead and build the mini coaster. Um, it seemed appropriate, I guess. I convinced myself that it's, you know, I can, you would see this on a boardwalk somewhere. So I built this one and it actually kind of reminded me of the one that uh, I had been on before, I think the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, and that's why I named it after Hurricane. Um, and let's see, the stats are generally pretty good. Uh, almost six for an excitement rating, uh, relatively low, or well, it's obviously medium, but it seems pretty decent uh, nausea rating. So, uh, and the guests went to it right away. Uh, the line is long, obviously, because the capacity here is a little bit low. Um, queue time is almost 10 minutes, so I wouldn't want this queue any longer. Notice basically at 10 minutes is when people start to complain about the, the length. Um, and I'm charging $9 right now. I could probably do a little bit more, but don't need to gouge my guess. I'm doing just fine financially. I was actually able to pay off the entire loan. Uh, again, there's really no reason to do that, but I figured why not. Uh, and then I also, uh, before I built the coaster, I'd added the two motion simulators here. Um, there's two videos, so I just did two, so each one is dedicated to the own, their own video. Um, let's take a look here. The twist, uh, not many people on that, probably because it's too expensive. This is one of the first things I built, if you can remember. Um, and then the mega round was at 150. You know, let's just go down to 50 cents since I'm really, there's no money making in the merry go round business. So 50 cents is fine. Um, park is relatively clean, not too bad. So that's uh, where we are now. I've only got a small pocket of really open, undeveloped area right here. I'm not sure if I'll need to really build anything. Let's see what else is coming down the pipeline. Just got the bobsleigh coaster. Really don't have the room to do that, so I probably won't bother. Um, oh, I did get the burger bar, so I'll probably throw that in somewhere. And yeah, so I'll probably just, probably just, this is a run out the clock kind of situation here. So um, I might, we'll see if I decide to build anything here. I don't know if I'll have the time to really get something to fit nicely in there um, and do it well with the time I've got. So I'll go ahead and uh, check back in with everyone here, probably near the end of October, just before we, we enter year three to see if uh, we made it. Most likely we'll be just fine. Okay, well, we're very close now to the end of year two, uh, 24th of October. The two other attractions I got was the Compact Inverted Coaster, which is not really the room, and again, not one of my favorite coasters to design. I'm very picky. Uh, and then the Mini Suspended Flying Coaster I just got and don't really have the time uh, to put it in. Uh, so about a couple weeks ago, I did just end up throwing in a, the submarine ride, which I had, uh, which just helped fill in this space, so I feel a little bit more... Um, fulfilled, I guess, that I got something in every kind of reasonable amount, every reasonable space without too much overlap or stacking on top of each other. This seems relatively realistic. Um, and there was a big line for this earlier. Um, went down a little bit, but still seems pretty good, actually, a little more popular than I would have thought. So that's good. 
So yeah, we're very close. 20th of October, kind of, let's see, so we're at 842 guests, so we'll probably be right around there. Um, got 11 handymen, I've got four mechanics, I never did security guards and entertainers. Uh, and most of my attractions seem pretty, pretty popular. Ferris wheel, uh, probably the price is too high, I haven't really lowered this one. And the, the worst gentle ride because everyone wants to get off of it and we can't really charge that much. Um, but anyways, it looks it looks pretty at least. Um, I'm still very happy with the tuna looper, the little loop, looping coaster. Uh, it's been consistently breaking in, bring, bringing in money, even when I open up other coasters. Oh, there we go. So uh, park company value of 155. Our achievement, uh, we have met the achievement. Pretty straightforward and easy. For Paradise Pier, and I believe uh, later on there's another Paradise Pier that we can do. I can't remember exactly what the objective is, but this is a little leading up, you know, basically leading up to that as well. But I don't think it's that challenging. So there we are. Um, pretty happy with this one. So if that's, uh, I'll say that's it. Just do Paradise Pier. So we'll say goodbye, and I'll see you on the next video.